Uh oh, we got the boots on. That means some work for me to get done. All right, so here we are at my, this is my worm casting bin. And what I want to show y'all is how I go about, basically what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to start me up. So y'all see this one is empty. What I start with is worm castings. And by the way, that bin does have holes in the bottom. However, that's what I want to do. Pull that one off the center blocks. And I'm gonna tell y'all why I'm gonna put this up on center block. I'm putting it on center block so I got holes on the bottom. Now it'll drain fine, but it'll drain okay. But sometimes, when, well, not sometimes, it'll drain okay on the ground when you got it on center block. It has a tendency to drain a lot better. And that's what I want. I got more SHIT going on than the law lab. That's why you don't let people back here. Okay. How they treat the stuff in cans and stuff ain't mine. I told my neighbor, yeah, you can empty them cans in my worm bins. That'll be fine. But did he throw the cans away? Nope. Bum it. Bum. See? That's why you can't fool with Negro. Look at that. Now I got to throw all this stuff away. See? That's why you can't fool with Negro. So, anyway. We're going to start by putting worm castings at the bottom. And as y'all can see, some of this stuff ain't complete. Like corn cob. But you see right there? Worms. I'm trying to be gentle. I'm going to kill a few. I already know I am. I'm sure it's cocoons in here and everything. So it'll be all right. Also, my neighbor likes to put stuff in. They got plastic on it. He ain't the brightest. He ain't the sharpest. Draw a knife in the draw. That's for sure. All right. Y'all see that one? I don't know if y'all can see that. The light is so bad, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm in the weirdest spot ever. There now. Y'all can see them worms. Yeah, y'all can see them. Okay. Whew. It's kind of hard when you're shooting in what seems like the middle of the woods. All right, now that I got them worm castings in there. Almost that whole bin over there is worm castings. Now, you might say, what in the world is this? I fill this bucket with rainwater. And y'all, I shred my mail. And I don't let my mail go to waste. That's paper. Do not allow your stuff to go to waste unless you want to keep going to Home Depot, Lowe's, and everywhere else buying stuff. Worms will eat this stuff and turn this into the most gorgeous worm casting ever. They love this paper. And I'm going to tell you this, they eat through it real fast too. Now, why did I soak it in water? Worms don't like dry stuff. You can put your paper in there dry. I have put mine in there dry before. Um, I don't do it a whole lot no more because it just goes faster when the when the uh, when the stuff is already moist. And y'all see, I'm kind of making a lasagna. Now I'm not gonna use all these worm castings out of here. But like I said. You want some because the worms need the grit and also the worms are in these castings because as I sprinkle I do I keep seeing worms and I see a lot of them too so if y'all can see them y'all see them down there wiggling they're wiggling I always tell people I don't have livestock and technically I don't but this is the only other animals I have other than my uh, Iris the dog and my menagerie of cats uh, and but these are the the main varmints that I have 
for the garden. And that's specifically why I got these, actually. I bought red wigglers like six or seven years ago. I don't protect this in the winter. I don't do nothing. The worms do die back some and, and do let some of that water drain out of there. Because you don't want to just sop it wet. But I do have holes at the bottom. So if it gets a little soggy, the water will drain out of the bottom. You want to make sure you got holes at the bottom. Uh, if you don't, you'll just drown your worms. Or you'll just have mud at the bottom. And um, you'll have mud at the bottom. And uh, worms at the top. And, and this can go anaerobic. It's, I mean, you still can use it in your garden. It'll just smell hard before a little while. Um, and so if you don't like the smells or the anaerobic type stuff, then, uh, yeah, don't, don't let it get muddy. Um, more tape. See? Just, just, yeah, just, just put your cardboard and stuff in with, with the tape right on it. That's the smartest thing to do in the world. Once again... So you try to let people contribute to your compost and your garden and stuff. They just, they don't have good sense. You can't trust that people have good sense anymore. Look at all this. Look at all this plastic. See, see, I know you saw that was on there. But you didn't care. Look at that. That's, that's a whole piece of bubble wrap. You didn't care. You was like, she said paper and cardboard. I won't separate out anything else. Y'all wondering who I'm talking about is Shadow's on them. That's why Shadow's so stupid. But, uh, and I do have, I got some kitchen scraps in here too, some frozen fruit. They got freezer burn. Uh, so if y'all see these strawberries, they got freezer burn. They ain't worth eating, but the worms are like them. All right, I'm going to show y'all something else I'm going to put on in here. Y'all see Iris' kitty pool full of leaves. Worms love leaves. So. Bail all that right over in there and let that soak down. Once again, why do I do this? Woo wee Y'all want to see a worm? Now, this is a worm for y'all. Look at that. Look at that. This is not, this is what being the native soil. This is called a, whoa, he got, a, he got away from me. This is called an Alabama jumper. They're native to the soil around here. Huge worms. Absolutely huge. You won't find no worms no bigger than that. I don't think. They make real good fishing worms. I sell them when I see them. If I can ever catch them. I don't hardly ever see them that easy like that. But yeah, them worms, they get easy. Eight, ten inches. I think something's getting in my boot. But anyway. uh, Yeah, so like I said, I soak this. Because the worms, they don't like dry stuff, y'all. Think about it. A worm can't even survive if it gets dried out on the ground. So it's not going to like all that dried out stuff. So, but yeah, this is how I get my next worm bin going. I just got more leaves over here. Just leaves I grabbed out the yard, y'all. So if you want to make worm casting, you don't need nothing, y'all. I hope y'all can hear me over these crunchy leaves. But you don't need nothing. Don't think that you need to keep going to go buy worm castings, fertilizer. Worm castings really is fertilizer. It has microbiology in it. That your soil needs. It has nutrition in it because if you're putting in your kitchen scraps and your leaves, whoa, whoa, look here. We can't let you get away. Put any worm you see in there. Um, but if you uh, if you just take what you got at home, I know y'all got leaves. It's fall. You're raking them up now. Don't throw them away. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm putting a little, it's a few little sticks that's getting put in there. I'm not worried about it. 
Them few little sticks ain't gonna mean nothing. They'll either break down or when I get ready to get stuff out of here. Oh, y'all can't see what I'm doing. All right, for the top, y'all. Yeah, I poured that in dry. But I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna do because I got that bucket of water down there. I wish I could find me one of them great big old worms again. Them big old, I call them snakes. I know y'all probably was like, oh my God, she's touching it. They don't bite people. They don't bite. Oops, sorry. Y'all don't want to see my finger. You want to see what I'm doing. But yeah, them, them, uh, them worms, they don't bite y'all. They just a little slimy. You get over it. See, see how this, this stick didn't, but you just take it and you throw it out. It's real simple. And all these, and all this is worm castings. Whole trash can full. But y'all see what I'm doing? I'm covering the top with a nice layer of these worm castings for two reasons. Like I said, there's worms in here. That's number one. Number two, um, there are worm cocoons in here and too bad I can't show you any cocoons I can't see them right off top see there's a little worm there you're gonna get over there now from now on when I pull out of this come here don't run from me get over there I will sometimes if I see something on top I'll pick out a couple of worms if I see them on top. Like, uh, see, I saw three worms right there. And I'll throw them over. There are plenty of worms over there, I assure you guys. And I know these look like they're not moving. Um, their habitat's being disturbed, and they don't really like that too much. But once they get over there, they'll burrow down. And they'll start munching away. But like I said, I put the dry stuff on top, right? Well, I got this bucket. I pour the last of that in there and that should soak those soak those uh, leaves down. And then my last step is to grab the top for this. Now, I'm not going to leave this top on indefinitely. Because it'll actually get too humid in here. Because this is plastic. I'll leave this on a couple of days so that everything can get good and moist. Y'all see the, the liquid that's running out the bottom? Y'all see the water running out the bottom? Now, after a couple of days, I will... Uh, let's see. And I'll be honest with you, uh, that's that'd be good uh, worm tea that runs out of there. I, I need to create me a system where I can catch that worm tea but I'm catching this water right now in that pan so I could uh I'm gonna put it back on the top because I don't think those leaves got soaked up good enough but you pretty much want to make sure your stuff is moist but let me tell you this all that which y'all just saw me do with the water and stuff you don't have to do I just have found that if my stuff is not pre-moistened it takes the worms longer or what I do is I leave the top off because like I said in a couple of days I'm going to come back and take this top off. Why? Because every time it rains, it'll rain in this barrel. And it'll make sure everything stays moist for me. Before, when I was leaving the top on, I would have to come out here and water this. And I would forget sometimes. And this would get so dry that it would literally kill my worms. And then when I re-moistened it, the cocoons, the worms in the cocoons would hatch out. But it slowed down my progress a lot by me not... um making sure that this was staying moist but like I said I'm gonna leave this on for like a day or two no more and then I'm gonna take it off because I'm gonna tell you something else that happens sometimes you'll leave this on and it'll get so humid and you'll see worms all at the top because it's dark up here and they're trying to escape you know the, that humid environment and the bucket and everything so like I said I'll leave it on for a day or two everything will get equally moistened I'll take this top off when you take that top off those worms, they don't like light. So they will not come up here and try to escape your barrels because they don't like light. I've never had a problem with anything getting on top of here and eating or munching. Like I've never had raccoons, possums, any of that stuff back here. Like 
really feasting on my worm bin thing. Um, so that's how I start me a new one. Every time I got kitchen scraps, I'll put my kitchen scraps in there. Um, I'll put leaves in there. Looky here. Tell me where you going. Where's he going, YouTube? Where's he going? Or she. Thank you. Alabama jumper. Jump your butt in there and make, make some magic happen. So now let me show you guys how I go about actually getting my castings out from here on out. And I'm going to tell y'all why I do this. So this is a quarter inch screen. Now they, they use this for panning for gold. But you can use it for just about anything. Now. Whenever I want to get worm castings out of here, I'll show y'all what I do. So, I put some in here, and then I'll shake it, and you'll see it coming out of the bottom. But the reason why I do this is, when I shake this, worms like that will not pass through the mesh. Any worms or cocoons that I have left in that screen, when I get through shaking it out, I put over here. I don't mind the worms being in my garden, but I'd rather try to keep them back here working. It also filters out the little stuff like this, the little sticks or whatever, and, and bigger pieces of leaves and stuff like that. So any of this bigger stuff, and this stuff is very, you know, broken down. Look at that plastic. But um, any of that stuff that... um doesn't come through the screen that's left on the top side I throw it over in my in my new bin and like it'll of course it'll filter out bigger stuff like that so that's how I do my bin now that this compost is finished I mean well not compost but vermicompost now that it's finished I'll grab the top I throw my top on why do I do that I got holes at the bottom I don't want this raining and just leaching out all the beautiful nutrition that I put in there. Well, that the worms created for me. I don't want it all leaching out onto the ground. So if I put a top on it, no rainwater gets in there. The stuff doesn't leach out. I'm going to use probably this whole can here soon because I got beds up front to fill. And this is part of what I use to fill my beds. I really need to get back on it because at one point in time, y'all see how I got four cans? At one point in time, one, two, three, and then I had one finished barrel of uh, worm castings, and that's how I was I was doing it. Um, I had just that much worm castings, but I sla I slacked off. But I'm I'm not gonna slack off no more. I'm gonna pick it back up because um I think this is through draining. Pour this back on top. All right. But yeah, I got some cleanup to do back here for my neighbor screwing me over. Don't let roguish people onto your property. Um, but yeah, like I said, I want to get back to having three of those. I have plenty enough leaves and crap to have three of those. Because when I tell you those worms will eat through those um, leaves super, super quickly. And I can also put some wood chips. Y'all see them big logs I got back there? I can chunk those big pieces of wood and those worms, they love that freaking wood. They'll eat that down in no time. So, if anybody got any questions, please leave them in the um, comment section. I hope y'all learned a little bit about vermicomposting. I'm going to do some more videos on this. I've been doing this for years. It's just, when I get out in the garden, y'all, a lot of times I don't take my camera. And I forget. But I'm going to stop forgetting because I'm seeing that a lot of people, you know, just maybe don't know this information or you see these really super complex ways of people vermin composting and it's really not complex I don't do anything other than add my kitchen scraps I don't do anything um, I don't water them anymore since I learned to leave the top off once I put them on cinder blocks the bottoms I don't get because I did I killed a bunch of worms one time they got full of water so all of this stuff I'm telling you is stuff that I did wrong and I learned and y'all see how pretty the stuff is I, I get out of that other bin so, man, until next time, I'll see you guys later.